Hi guys, Max from on Android.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to route the international version, the Exynos version of the Galaxy Note 8. Now before I begin, this will erase everything on your phone. You're going to lose Samsung Pay forever, but you will be able to use Android Pay. Let's go do this, baby. Hey guys, before I begin, this is only for international models. This is not if you have the US versions. All right guys, so first thing you wanna do is go ahead and check the model number, go into settings and go into about phone and go into a model number here. You should say, um, it should say SMN 950F. I have actually have the SMN 950F slash DS, which is the dual SIM model. Um, if you have the F or FD, um, DS, or if you have the Korean SMN 950N, it will work, or if you have any of the Exynos base model of your Galaxy Note 8. Um, go ahead and Google the model number and see if you have the Exynos version. Now this will not work on any of the US versions, okay? So don't even try, all right? Um, because it has a lock bootloader. All right, next you wanna go into software information and go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times until it says developer mode has been turned on. I've already turned it on. Hit the back button twice and go into um, developer options, you should have a new menu option. All right, you should see OEM unlock. Now, this year, starting with the Note 8, um, Samsung has started blocking uh, for seven days. You may have one of these OEM affected Note 8s, which mine is. So you may have to wait seven days until you set up your phone. So after you buy the phone, um, if you don't see this option, just wait seven days and come back to this tutorial. And make sure it is turned on. If you see this option from day one, then you don't have the OEM affected. All right, which is okay. Um, next, what you wanna do is go ahead and power off your phone. All right, power off. And next, you're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down. That's this button, the Bixby button, volume down, Bixby, and the power. Volume down, Bixby in that order, and then the power for about three seconds until a warning screen comes on. Go ahead and hit the volume up button. That'll put you into download mode. And you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer via a micro, not micro, USB Type-C cable. All right, and let's go to our computer. All right guys, next go to galaxynote8root.com. You're gonna go ahead and go into Torp Recovery Menu. All right, you will need a Windows computer, obviously. I'm using a Windows 7 64-bit. Um, uh, and you'll have to go download um, these four files, Note 8, USB drivers, Odin, Majisk and OEM um, issue fix. All right, let me go ahead and show you those files. Um, it is gonna be Majisk, Samsung USB, Odin, and also this file here, N950F root for OEM issue. You'll need four files, all right? Go ahead and double click on Odin3 blah blah dot zip, extract all files, you'll get a folder called Odin v3.12.3. All right, go here, double click on odin3.exe, hit run, and you should see a blue highlighted com um, box right here. If you don't see this, go back to your downloads folder, double click on Samsung USB drivers, install the drivers. If you still don't see it, go ahead and unplug your USB and plug it back in, and you will see this blue highlighted box with a random com number. The com number does not matter. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and choose AP, and go into downloads, and you're gonna go ahead and choose twerp, um, the file you downloaded, blah, blah, dot, tar, hit open. And this is very important. As soon as your phone reboots, you're gonna hold down volume up, big speed, and the power. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna hit start. All right, as soon as the uh, screen goes off, I'm gonna hit down volume up, big speed, and the power. Hold it for about one, two, three, and let go of all the buttons, and you should be in Torp Recovery. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and choose Keep Read Only. And you're gonna go ahead and wipe everything. Now, rooting involves wiping everything on your phone because your phone is encrypted. Um, so at this point, if you don't wanna erase everything, um, go ahead and reboot, back up everything, and come back to this step. But formatting data, this will erase everything on your phone. So I'm gonna say yes. All right, it is a good idea to root when, right when you get the phone, but if you have OEM issue, obviously you have to wait seven days. All right, once that's done, hit the home button, hit reboot, and hit recovery, and hit do not install. This will reboot you back into Twerp recovery. All right, once that's done, go ahead and tap on keep read only. Go ahead and connect it back to your computer. 
All right, you're gonna go back to your downloads folder. You're gonna go ahead and copy over Majisk. Also copy over the OEM issue fix, all right? This zip file. Go ahead and do a right click copy, go into your Galaxy Note 8 internal storage and paste it anywhere here. All right, once that's done, you don't need your USB cable. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go back to your phone. You're gonna go ahead and select install. Um, go ahead and select the 950F root for OEM issue. Go ahead and go to add more zip. Go ahead and click uh, Majisk. And go ahead and reboot after installation is complete. Flash and boom shakalaka. And you should be good to go. All right, um, make sure you go through this, say okay. Next, next, next. And pr proceed with ROM flasher multi-tool. All right, go ahead and choose patch for OEM issue, hit next, and then um, choose do not change, all right? Because we're gonna flash uh, Majisk anyways. The version I'm using is um, different from the version on here. So go ahead and hit run, and this will basically get rid of uh, the OM issue for those of you who have it. Don't reboot your de device now, hit finish, and swipe to unlock, and now it will actually install the Majisk. All right, go ahead and do not install. It will reboot and give it about a minute and you'll come to the welcome screen and you should be able to um, root it. By the way, um, you can go ahead and get the Zeiss lens cleaner. These things are great for cleaning your brand new phone without damaging the screen. It is also used for um, camera lenses, but you can also use it for your phone. So we'll be back in about five minutes. Ah! We'll be back on in about five minutes. All right, guys, you should be back to welcome stream. Let me go ahead and sign in real quick. I right, once signed in, go ahead and go into your app drawer. You should see Majisk Manager. If it asks you to update it, um, you don't have to update it. Um, sometimes the updates can break your root, so I don't actually recommend it. Just use this one. Go ahead and tap um, to safety, check safety status. Go ahead and restart app if it does that. Go ahead and do it again. Ah. Make sure you update um, Google Play services. That could be causing the force close there. All right, let's go ahead and try again. Hit no thanks. All right, finally working. All right, if you see true, true, that means you're good to go. It is hiding root from all of your apps that check for root. So you can go ahead and run Android Pay. Of course, Samsung Pay does not work once you root it. Um, you're good to go. You can go ahead and check that you have full root. Um, go ahead and buy, download Titanium Backup app, free app, which I highly recommend for uh, backing up your apps. Go ahead and hit open, and boom shakalaka. You should be fully rooted. Hit grant, enjoy your fully rooted phone, and you should be good to go. All right, and just to make sure, let me go ahead and restart the phone, um, and you should be good to go if it restarts like that and the reason why it took me a long time to make this tutorial um because i had the oem effective version um so every time i would i forgot i didn't flash the oem um it would actually brick and i would have to reinstall the stock firmware so it actually took me about a month and a half to make this tutorial because i messed up about five times all right but using this method you should be able to um install your uh, root root your phone easily and thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one as always stay on android click here to subscribe